out here today looking at a fine revolver from the Smith & Wesson Performance Center. Now the Performance Center has some special guns that they build up. Uh, they're not regular catalog items and this is one of them. This is the model 327 TRR8. Now the 327, there's been some confusion. It don't shoot a 327 Federal. It's a 357 Magnum. will also shoot 38 Special. But 327 refers to the model number. It's on the large end frame which is 27 size. The three refers to the scandium lightweight frame. So it's not all that heavy, even for a large revolver. It uh, weighs 35.2 ounces unloaded. <clears throat> not much more loaded with eight 357 Magnum cartridges. It also comes with these moon clips that's cut for them where you can load eight cartridges at a time like a speed loader that stays in there and ejects out all together. Uh, it's a good way to get a fast reload if you need to. But one thing that you get from the uh, Performance Center, which is really worthwhile, you get the Performance Center trigger, which has a trigger stop on it, and the Performance Center action job, which gives you a real smooth, let me check again, double action trigger pull on this comes in about eight pounds, just as smooth as it can be, just like you'd expect from the Smith Watson Performance Center. Single action, nice and crisp, right at four pounds, Makes some really fine, accurate shooting. It's drilled on top and on the bottom of this barrel shroud for these Picatinny rails. If you want to put them on there, if you want to hang stuff on your revolver, RMR sights, things like that, you can use this one on the bottom, put a laser on it, white light, whatever you prefer. I prefer just to use the regular sights on it. Got a good Smith & Wesson adjustable rear sight, a bead on a blade front sight, a little gold bead. Makes it really easy to shoot well. Ejection, even with the heavy stuff, I was shooting some uh, heavy double tap and Buffalo Bore 357 Magnum ammo, which is real stuff, you know. Uh, most factory 357 Magnum ammo has been neutered over the years from what it was originally. When it was invented in 1934, it was pretty hot stuff. Uh, most factories got a little milder with it. You can go to uh, Buffalo Bore or double tap and get some real 357 Magnum ammo. 180 grain. Uh, Buffalo bore hard cast, even it ejected easily. Had no sticky extraction at all. Uh, velocities were good. Got some decent velocities out of it. The barrel cylinder gap on here is seven one thousandths of an inch, which is a little wider than I like, but <clears throat> it's what it is. It's what it's set to. It does have the two-piece barrel with the outer shroud, stainless steel inner barrel. Um, got these good uh, hole grips that fit my hand just perfectly. Uh, they do most people's hands. It's not overly large, but it gives you a good grip on the revolver to tame that uh, recoil if you have any. For carrying this thing, I've got a really nice holster here from Baranti Leather. Baranti makes some fine, fine leather. And this fits in there really well. You can carry this good uh, it, uh, holster for carrying. It's a 120 style holster. Been around for many years, but it's a good way to carry it concealed or if you want to carry it as a hunting revolver, whatever. Uh, the trigger guard and trigger is exposed. You can get that trigger quick if you need to on the draw. Uh, really nice leather, well tooled from Brandy Leather. Double tap, 125 grain, jacket hollow point. I've asked some questions that with, with moon clips could you use 9mm ammo on this. No, you can't. The case is too fat near the uh, head section of 9mm. It's not going to work in this revolver. So, uh, But you can use any 357 Magnum 
38 special, 38 special plus P. You can use all those in here without moon clips or if you want to use a moon clip for a fast load, that's good. This does, like most Smith & Wesson these days, have the key lock on it. That key lock locks it up internally or if you have to leave this where somebody can get access to it, when it's locked, the trigger cannot be pulled. Also, if it ain't going to lock itself, I've shot a lot of heavy loads through this. had no problem with the gun locking up on it. The only Smith & Wesson ever did that to me was a Model 329 Lightweight 44 Magnum. Two really accurate loads that I tried in this thing. I uh, shot off the bench using a target shooting incorporated wrist. I uh, didn't have a uh, in-frame round insert for my ransom rest, so I just shot 25 yards off the bench, uh, handheld on the wrist. Uh, this uh, double tap uh, 38 special 148 grain target wad cutter did really well. It come in uh, uh, about five eighths of an inch, maybe just a hair over, a hair less uh, on different groups at 25 yards, five shots. Buffalo boy, 180 grain outdoorsman, that hard cast stuff, it did it did almost as well. It's a little, well, it's more like an inch and a half but that's great accuracy at 25 yards, especially with my eyesight and me being the guy jerking the trigger. This is some double tap 148 grain uh, target wad cutters, 38 special ammo. Real mild to shoot out of here and very accurate. To get some good 357 Magnum ammo, and I mean some real 357 Magnum ammo, not the stuff's probably going to be on your local big box store shelf. Uh, Buffalo Boar makes some stuff that's really, it's full strength 357 Magnum, and so does Double Tap. You can go to uh, DoubleTapAmmo.com to order this stuff, BuffaloBoar.com to order this stuff. If you want to order other 357 Magnum ammo, different brands, go to MigSouthShooterSupply.com and luckygunner.com and they can hook you up with some ammo. Here's a real good load. I've got loaded in this moon clip here. It's a buffalo boar, 180 grain. They're outdoors my load. It's 180 grain, flat nose, hard cast. Really good if you need penetration like on hogs, things like that. Thanks, Tim. To order this gun online, go to galleryofguns.com, click on the Gun Genie, and you'll get prices from different dealers in your area competing for your business. You're still filling out all the federal paperwork, anything state, local you got to do, you still got to fill it out, pay the government extortion fee, and all that stuff. But you'll get total price from different dealers in your area competing for your business. You know, this gun, it's uh, MSRP is $1329. Every dealer ain't going to have three or four of these on their shelf. But you still, by ordering through Gallery of Guns, you're going through your local dealer. You're not cutting him out. He gets to make a profit. You get a, the gun when you want it, fast as you want it. Uh, they'll ship it in to you. You pick it up your local dealer. If you want to find a Smith & Wesson dealer in your area, go to Lipsy's.com. Click on the dealer finder. Put in your zip code. It'll give you a list of Smith & Wesson dealers in your area. Got a perfect single action trigger pull on this thing. Really light and crisp. Uh, comes in under four pounds. The double action too. We demonstrated it shooting some, but really smooth. Comes in about eight pounds, just smooth as can be. What you'd expect from the Smith Wesson Performance Center.